I'm here at Volcano National Park, where in January of 2009 I established a grass herbicide experiment. Now in this area, we have a pretty simple vegetation community. We have an overstory of koa that's about 30 years old, and underneath as an understory, we have a solid stand of the exotic grass species, meadow rice grass which is very suppressive in allowing for natural regeneration of other native understory. So in January we set up an experiment with three different herbicides Fluazifop, which is a grass selective herbicide, glyphosate, which is a broad spectrum herbicide, and amazapir, which is also a broad spectrum herbicide. And we applied these, these treatments at three different times. Once in January, the second application in February, and our third application in May. So today we're looking at observations of these treatments in September, which is eight, seven, and four months after treatment application. So I'm now standing in the, the Fluazaflop uh, treatment, the January application. You can see we have uh, quite a bit of regrowth and regeneration eight months after application. And if I was to go back into our February and also our May applications, I'm seeing similar results. So even though Fluazifop is a good selective herbicide, it did not work very well in this experiment uh, relative to what we're going to look at next. So now I'm in the glyphosate plot, standing in the January application. And in here we see a much better suppression of the grasses uh, eight months prior after treatment. But what you'll also notice as we get into the February plot, notice the lush green growth in that plot. So what happened there? Well, I can remember um, back in February when I made my treatment applications, about 10 minutes after application we had a heavy downpour. And so what this tells me is that the herbicide had not been absorbed yet. So the rain fast period for glyphosate generally is about four hours and of course 10 minutes after application just isn't cutting it. So as you can see the difference between a herbicide application under the right conditions versus a herbicide applications when it's not suitable for uh, due to the environment. Now here we're looking at the difference between the February application and the May application and once again you see the same kind of differences where we had the rainfall uh, post application in February removing the activity of the herbicide where in May we had excellent conditions on the day of spray thus resulting in excellent results on, in terms of desiccating and suppressing the grasses. Now we're in the amazapir plots and you notice between January and February we have consistent and effective suppression of the grasses while in the May application, we still see green tissues, but those are green tissues on the decline, suggesting that four months after application, the herbicide's still active. Now you'll also notice in the February plot how we have much better suppression than we did in the glyphosate, suggesting that amazapir has a much shorter time interval to be rainfast. So here we have a close-up of the grasses within the May application of amazapir and we have classic symptoms of the amazapir taking effect with the necrotic spotting on the foliage suggesting that this herbicide is still active. Here we have a close-up of necrotic spotting due to the amazapir application at four months after treatment. In this experiment we found glyphosate and amazapir to be very effective in suppressing meadow rice grass. Now the standard formulation currently is glyphosate. However, we do show in this experiment that it does have its challenges, particularly in wet weather, which in this case would most normally be during the winter months. So maybe we can devise a strategy where during the winter we're using amazapir in our grass suppression management, and then the summer we can use glyphosate. Or can we come up with a new combination of both glyphosate and amazapir in the same mix, where hopefully we can create a synergy in the grass suppression management strategy.